Great, so I'm just going to go over personal statements um, rather quickly. Um, these are just some tips on how to um, structure, structure your statement, um, how to make a really successful or impactful one. Um, if you have a personal statement draft that you want reviewed, our office can review it for you. Um, and we also recommend that you always share it with a faculty advisor who can give you some feedback, um, just because they're the experts in the field and will have really specific uh, tips for you on your personal statement. So um, you may have heard the, the term personal a lot, and it's basically um, an essay that you're writing to the graduate school um, to tell them about yourself. So the purpose is kind of fourfold. Um, to show who you are, so that's the personal part of the personal statement, who you are, what you're about, and really what motivates you to attend graduate school and to attend that program. The second is to demonstrate a good fit. So not only why are you attending graduate school in a graduate program, why are you attending this particular program or why are you wanting to, um, and whether it's consistent with your studies, um, your activities, um, et cetera. The third is to discuss your career goals. So how is this graduate program relevant to what you want to do and what you want to achieve? Um, and what contributions you want to make to that program or just to the field in general. And then the fourth is to just provide more details. So um, when you're applying to grad school, you're submitting a resume or CV, you're submitting your transcript. Um, the personal statement is your chance to go beyond what's listed on those documents um, and just to avoid redundancy with those documents. Go beyond what they're basically asking for and tell your own story. So a pre-drafting strategy um, is just to review the instructions. So some personal statements will just say, submit a personal statement. Um, and others will actually provide you a prompt, like, you know, why do you want to um, attend UNT graduate school or something like that. And they'll, you know, give you some prompts like, um, what did you achieve in your college career? Why do you think you'd be successful in this particular program? And they'll kind of give you some prying questions. So if they actually articulate some of those criteria, you want to make sure that your personal statement is addressing those specifically and it's giving more detail um, than you can provide on a resume or through a transcript or even a writing sample that you provide to the graduate school. Um, so then once you're ready to actually start putting pen to paper, uh, keep in mind that you don't want to just tell um, the selection committee who you are, you want to also show them. So, um, you know, this says narrate scenarios that illustrate your character. So are there some stories that you can tell or are there are specific examples you can provide that really demonstrate who you are as a person. If you're saying you're really diligent and you're good at research, you need to be able to provide specific examples that demonstrate that. Um, and you can also be dramatic, creative, um, you can write in your own voice. Um, of course, you know, don't go completely crazy. Um, this isn't, you know, like Hunter S. Thompson or anything like that. But, you know, you can, you can write as you, as you normally speak in real life. Um, a lot of readers can tell if you're trying to be fluffy or if you're trying to use passive voice too much. Just kind of be yourself. Um, devote most of your statement to portraying who you are now. So, um, you know, a lot of students will write, you know, I've loved, you know, studying animals since I was, you know, in middle school. Um, if you're applying to a program that's relevant to the study of animals, that's great. But um, graduate programs will want to know what you've been doing in your college career to sort of advance your experience in that area. So graduate schools want to know who you are right now. Um, so just uh, as a rule of thumb, make sure that you're not dedicating your whole personal statement to what's happened before college. And another rule, um, think outside the box. So um, a lot of students come to me saying, you know, what's a personal statement or can you give me examples or what is a personal statement supposed to look like? Um, don't get bogged down too much on what you think the ideal statement would look like. Um, it's specific to everyone. Um, and so, you know, you can really express yourself 
uh, you can be creative, and just think about a way that you can make it really specific to you as, your, as an individual. Um, so editing. So um, there are a couple of filters that you can sort of apply yourself um, to yourself and to your statements. So first impressions. First impressions are really important. So if you think about, um, you know, the second you opened a book for, let's say, Litrad, you know, you open up Moby Dick and it says, call me Ishmael. That's like a really good hook. You're like, what the heck does that mean? I'm going to keep reading. So does your personal statement follow the same rule? Is it capturing someone's attention? And you've got kind of got to be um, pretty immediate, like your opening sentences or so should be really dramatic or not dramatic, um, impactful. Um, personality filter. So when you're reading through your draft, what do you think your personal statement is saying about yourself? So one of the ways that you can determine this is to underline words or phrases throughout your personal statement and write a personal trait to the side, off to the side, and just determine, you know, is this statement really conveying what I want someone to see? Um, is this really demonstrating who I am as a person? Um, and then also think about traits that you've maybe forgotten to mention. Um, or that you've forgotten to substantiate with evidence, with a story or with an example. And then of course you don't want to um, drive a point too hard that you're diligent or you're hardworking or you're good at research. You want to be a little bit more well-rounded and make sure that you're not just um, driving a point into the ground too often with a single trait. Um, I kind of mentioned this already, but redundancy. So make sure that um, anything you include in a personal statement isn't already mentioned in a resume or in a writing sem sample at length already. The personal statement is your chance to expand upon something that you haven't really been able to communicate to the committee. So just think about that as well. Um, kind of like the first impression, what are the takeaways? So you want to make sure that your readers remember you and you have given them a reason to remember you. So when a committee refers to you as the candidate who did blank or who blank, you know, what do you want that blank to be? And what do you think, you know, do you think that your personal statement actually communicated that? So one of the ways that you can do that is, you know, show your personal statement to a friend, show it to one of us, um, show it to your faculty advisor, and just say, you know, this is what I wanted to communicate um, to the reader. Does that come across? And then some general stylistic stuff. Um, a lot of um, first drafts use a lot of passive voice, but this is a personal statement and you're talking about yourself. So just try to keep passive voice to a minimum. Um, definitely don't overuse any words or phrases. And then if you feel like, um, you know, stylistically, um, you know, your statement is kind of blah, you know, you can always change verbs, adjectives, just to make it stand out a little more. Um, and then some final don'ts. So um, just make sure that when you're writing your statement, you're talking about yourself. So don't be writing about other people. Um, don't compare and contrast yourself with others. Um, try not to begin all of your sentences with I. So a personal statement, it's hard not to say, I did this, I did that, I wanna do this. Um, you know, just mix it up a little bit. And then also just proofread, proofread, proofread. Don't let a typo jeopardize someone's impression of you. Um, definitely, you know, um, use Grammarly, um, use uh, Microsoft spell check and all of those um, software programs just to make sure that you're not missing anything. Um, and definitely have a second set of eyes at least uh, review your statement for you.